Early voting just started in the Palm Beaches and the Treasure Coast ahead of the August 26th primary. Aaron Guy spoke with election officials. Easy in and easy out. The Rapatos always vote early and say today's process was a piece of cake. I know, I still remember the old bunch in the holes or the butterfly ballot. So this is a lot easier and a lot better. Technology invading polling sites in Palm Beach County. But don't worry, it's not to cast your ballot, just to sign you in. You know, it'll provide so that the voter doesn't have to stand behind the letters of their last name. Anybody can help them right away. The mini iPad can scan your ID and pop up your information in a half a second. This uh, mini iPad takes a picture of that code and it populates your voter information. And they have you sign with a stylus on the iPad. So it was pretty easy. The hope is that this will get poll workers prepared for the 2016 presidential election. When you go to vote, don't forget to leave the phone in the car. And when it comes to your ID, you can use a driver's license, passport, Florida ID, military, and school IDs, but they must see a picture and a signature. We can actually take one ID with a picture and one with a signature and marry them up, and that, that works. And thanks to new laws in the state, polling sites have changed. In Palm Beach County, they are open longer. There are more of them, 14 total, open from 10 to 6. Coming up all new at 6, why county election supervisors around the state have their eyes on our primary.